The Braytech Osprey is finally making its long awaited return to Destiny 2, but is it about to launch itself into the meta? As far as rockets go, it's got some super strong perk combos that will make this a standout endgame option, especially with some S tier endgame builds and void based artifact mods this season. It's also going to drop with an in depth version straight out of the gate, as Grandmasters are already here, so this could make it a dominant pick, especially with it being the only adept high impact rocket currently available. It drops from completions of the Nightfall this week and you'll need to tackle the Grandmaster Nightfalls for the Adept one. It's a Void Energy High Impact Frame which is in the middle of the road in terms of damage potential, however it does have the most unique set of perks we've ever seen on a rocket launcher, including all your standard perks in the pool like Auto Loading Holster, Field Prep, Lasting Impression and Frenzy. It even comes with the quite frankly bonkers combo of Envious Assassin with Bipod which not only boosts your base magazine size to 2 rockets but it can and will will get you a massive 5 rockets in the mag consistently to shoot off back to back, albeit with 40% less damage output. Bipod is getting a rework though in a future season, so it might be worth keeping one for its moment in the sun. However, this combination right here is what you should be going for, as it has excellent mod synergy from the seasonal artifact out of the box, and it all makes this hands down one of the best rockets in Destiny 2. At a base level, this combo is going to give you an excellent damage boost for just using it, as well as dealing excellent area effect and damage over over time which is something you just don't see on legendary rockets. Cluster Bombs is in the third column which is super rare on rocket launchers and this will boost your damage output by 23% if all clusters hit the target. But the beauty with it here is that it can essentially extend the damaging blast radius of your rocket launcher and trigger volatile explosions from the destabilizing rounds perk. This is the first time we've ever seen destabilizing rounds on a rocket launcher and I know that heavies aren't everyone's favourite for ad clear but when you've got excellent special weapon options a high end yellow bar destroying rocket launcher won't go amiss. Plus, if you're killing trash ads near a boss, you're going to make them volatile and ultimately this will add a serious melt factor to that boss, especially if you're stacking any end game damage boosts. Impact casing is going to buff the damage caused by direct hits, and remember you can put on the adept big one spec mod on the adept version to push out its damage potential. This is perfect for a double special loadout or even the upcoming hand cannon meta, so if you and your fire team want to melt the nightfall boss this week whilst farming for one, then you'll need to check out this next build video.